Hallelujah. All right. How is everybody doing tonight? Well, you're going to even get better. Did you know God has healing, been healing people since the parking lot? I mean, just coming in this place tonight, you could get healed, delivered. And there's a lot of deliverance going to happen tonight, too. And don't always think of devils when you think of deliverance. It could be a lot of things. But I wanted to share something with you. It's pretty heavy. And uh, it's pretty heavy. So there's just been a few times in my life where this has happened to me, but uh, I've already seen this service. I saw it last Thursday when I was praying, some of it. And we're going to hook into that. We're hooking into that and awesome things are going to happen tonight. So I do not want to disrupt the flow, but I want to say thank you for all of your hospitality here and all of the, the food and the food and <laughs> the food. <laughs> it's always awesome. We appreciate all of your help, your work. And as Stella and I always say, thank you for the catchers. Amen. They do a great job in a very difficult situation. Grab your Bibles and open to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. I'm not going to preach very long because God wants to do this, what he's already started doing tonight. Have you noticed, hang on guys, just for a few minutes. Have you noticed the theme? Everybody say, it's the wind. It's been, it's been in every, every, every service that I've been in anyway, people are talking about this wind. The truth of the matter is I started preaching on that a couple weeks ago at my church and, uh, and in other places I went even because God is trying to get us to see something. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, which is, is how many know that's the, 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 the chapter on the gifts of the Spirit? But I want you to notice something here. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I, I would not have you ignorant, stupid, or misinformed. You know that you were Gentiles carried away under these dumb idols, even as you were led. See, we're being led all the time by one spirit or another. Right? People in the world are being by, led by one spirit, but Christians all over the word of God, we, it says we are to be led by the Holy Ghost. In fact, let me take it a step further. Everything we need to do, everything we, 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 everything we should be doing should be being led by the Holy Ghost. I mean, when we get up in the morning, we should, the first thing we should do is get into the Spirit. We should be a spiritual people who walk in the Spirit, who move in the Spirit, who, who think in the Spirit, who, who don't do anything in the Spirit. We need to pray to be able to pray. We need to pray to get into the Spirit so we can pray. You see what I'm talking about? Because the Bible says we need to pray in the Spirit. That doesn't just mean in other tongues, but we ought to be in the Spirit when we're praying. And when you're in the Spirit and God is guiding your prayers, the prayers are going to be answered. Now, the, we all know the Spirit of God will always lead us and line us up with the Word of God. But, you know, I, I really sense that people are going to get this tonight. Because in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1, where it says, Now concerning spiritual gifts, draw a line through gifts because it doesn't say that. It actually says spiritual things, spiritual matters. And the best translation I can figure out after studying all these years is catching the wind of the Spirit. Catching the wind of the Spirit. Like when you're on a lake, Michigan, or you're out on the Pacific Ocean in a sailboat. If there's no wind, you're not going anywhere. You're going to sit there. But then when the wind comes up, if you set those sails just right, it will push you along with no effort whatsoever. And let me tell you something about church services today. Church services today, and I'm preaching to the choir here at this church, but church services today have got to come out of the religious traditions and religious ideas of the past, and we need to catch the wind in every service. We need to catch the wind, man. 
Because if we catch the wind, God's going to do something spectacular and special and awesome every single time. But as a congregation, we can't totally catch the wind until we learn to catch the wind individually. And the more we catch the wind individually, the more we can catch the wind as a congregation, the more we can just set our sails and flow, man, flow, baby, flow. And when we're flowing like that, the devil can't do anything because when you're flowing in the wind of God and the finger of God is on what you're doing, how many know, praise God, he's defeated and God is going to have his way and it's going to be one well of a time. <laughs> well, that's my sermon. Basically, that's it. I could go on, but basically, that's what we need to do. We just need to learn how to catch the wind, man. You know, every time I come here, I, I kind of laugh because I'm a pretty good Bible teacher most of the time, I got to say. But I, you don't need to be taught here. I mean, you're taught till your toenails curl. <laughs> Sometimes, so I, so I get out in here, man, I just, I just want to go. We need a little inspiration. We need a demonstration. And tonight, God is going to demonstrate some stuff for us. Can I get rid of this, please? He's going to demonstrate some things for us. Now, it's not all going to be fun because we're doing some serious business here for God tonight. I always enjoy it when God does serious business. Serious stuff. And I want all the preachers to be ready because I could call on any of you at any moment depending on which way God says to go because how many know I don't have it all? Hey, guess what? You don't either. And what we got to learn how to do is cooperate with one another. When I start finding out where somebody's gifts are, I'm going to pick on them because I don't have to be the one who prays for everybody. And you shouldn't feel that way either. What we're after here is results. And why we're not having results is because what we're doing is we're trying to do it all with one person or whatever it is, you know. So let me pray. Father, in Jesus' name right now, we set our sails. We're going to go selling tonight, Lord, real quick. And Father, we want to thank you as we catch this wind tonight. We're already catching that wind, but when we catch this wind tonight fully, I want to thank you, Lord, that you do wonderful, awesome things that only you can do. Lord, I want to disappear. I, I, just, I just right now, Lord, I sanctify myself. And I ask you to use me here. I'm going to be the orchestra leader tonight. And what we're going to do, Lord, is follow that wind. Now, Lord, I acknowledge that everything that happens here is we give you the glory and the honor because we know in our own we can do nothing nothing but i also thank you that the mighty angels of god are here tonight, and we acknowledge their presence in this place as they're moving in right now we all also acknowledge the fact that the glory of god's manifested power is going to roll in and out of this room and actually is here now and so we acknowledge that, Lord. We, we understand that this is a holy place, and you're going to do holy things in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, Amen. Hallelujah. I think you know what you ought to do. Stick your hands up right where you're at. Father, let's just praise him a little bit. We just worship you. We just worship you. We just worship you. We just worship you. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, everybody. Let's just hold, let's all pray in the spirit for a minute. As soon as I get a bacon, I get a shivan. Here I get a bad noon day, but I get a ah. Here I'm running out of mando city. Here I'm a 
eight of my soul. Eight of my soul. Come on, everybody. Thank you, Lord. All right, now listen. I want you to hear what I'm going to say here, and I think we're going to have Sarah and our friends help us a little bit. Is that okay tonight? I ask them to just stay up there. Now, I'm not a singer. Everybody say, thank God that he's not singing, okay? But I'm going to start some of this off, and here's what happens. We're all going to participate, right? Because without, if I do it myself, I'm like Bob dealing with a bad cold. You don't want to hear that. <laughs> you got it? Okay. So I need help here tonight. But I, I got this word. In fact, last Thursday, I got this word. I've been, now, Pastor John, see, this is a thing. When we catch the Spirit, doesn't God do tremendous? Just, it's just like, you know, here we go. I mean, this is it tonight. We're going to sing some ditties. And then, you know, some words of knowledge and some things, and God's going to do some healing, some deliverance tonight. Amen. But this is a simple one that the Lord just gave me, and I don't know how we're going to, you know, how we do it musically. And, of course, I don't even know what a key is, so don't ask me, okay? But it goes kind of like this. It's, it's like this. It's, it's, Lord, we pray the prodigals back home. Lord, we pray the prodigals back home. Can you sing it like that? Everybody, everybody singing. Lord, we pray the prodigals back home. Come on, keep on singing that. Lord, we pray the prodigals back home. Beautiful, beautiful. Go, go. Lord, we pray the prodigals back home. On Facebook Live, you sing too. Lord, we pray the prodigals back home. No matter where they roam, no matter where they roam, bring them back home. Bring them back home, Lord, Lord, or where they roam, bring them back home. No matter where they roam, bring them back home. No matter where they roam, all oh, beautiful. Bring them back home. All right, now hang on for a second. How many here in this room have prodigal children? Raise your hands. How many want to see them come home? Now, when, I, when God was dealing with me about this, I mean, I don't think this stuff up. I don't sit over there and go, what are we going to do in that service? And try to come up with something. God's angels are here specifically with a task tonight. One of the tasks is they are going to go after the prodigals and they're going to bring them home. So I want any, all of you guys that have prodigal children or prodigal wives or prodigal husbands or whatever it is to stand to your feet real quick. All right, come on down here and stand across. Everybody stretch forth your hands right now. There you go, sing it. No matter where they roam, where they are coming home, no matter where they lie, they are coming home, no matter where they roam, they are coming home, no matter where they roam, they are coming home. No matter where they roam, they are coming home. No matter where they roam, they are coming home. Now listen, 
Look at this. Look at how many people are here today. Now, if all the prodigals come home, how many know that'd be good church growth right there? <laughs> Hallelujah. I mean, you'd, you'd say, amen, I'm claiming this for my church. I mean, seriously. We've been praying for some of these people for years. We've been on our faces interceding for years. But I believe this year, I believe in the next few years, it's going to be the years of the prodigals returning, praise God. No matter where they roam. No matter where they roam. No matter where they roam. They're coming home. They're coming home. Come on. No matter. They're coming home. Woo! Oh, they are coming. Sing it, everybody. No matter where they roam, they are coming home. No matter where they roll, they are coming home. No matter where they roll, they are coming home. home coming home, coming home. Man, go. Coming home. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Come on. Come on, sing it. We call them home tonight. We, we're calling them home tonight. Sing that. We're calling them home. Come on, we're calling them home tonight, everybody. We're calling them home. We're calling them home. She's better at it than I am. She's calling them home tonight. All right. Now listen to this. I want you to all close your eyes. And I want you for a minute to think about where you came from. And how God got you. Because he's capable of getting anybody. I don't care how far they roamed or what they're doing. Now listen. I want to sing that again. Uh, wherever they may roam, Lord, you bring your pro uh, Lord. We pray the prodigals back home. But I want you to also include the names of your prodigals and make this a petition tonight. Go ahead, guys. And we're praying them home now. No matter where they just mention their names. They are coming. No matter where they roam, they are coming home. No matter where they roam, they are coming home. No matter where they roam. They are coming home, no matter where they roam, they are coming. Now, Lord, I proclaim right now that for every prodigal, you send angels out of this room to go right now and begin to bring them home. Father, we believe you for a manifestation of miracles to bring those prodigals home some of them are sitting there maybe they got a crack pipe right now but some of them they're gonna drop the crack pipe and they're coming home maybe they're sucking a bottle of Jack Daniels down but they're gonna drop the Jack Daniels and they're gonna come home some of you are gonna get calls from your prodigals and say I don't know what it is but can I come home I need to come home now not only are they coming home they're going to be restored relationships now listen restored relationships hey 
and everything that has been lost, God will restore. There you go. Come on. Zechariah 10, 8 says this, I will whistle for them. God will whistle for them and gather them. I'm prophesying here. God, I will whistle for them and gather them for I will redeem them. And they shall increase as they once increased. Isaiah 5, 6 says, He will lift up a banner to the nations from afar and will whistle to them from where, from, from the end of the earth. Surely, surely, they will come with speed swiftly. We... We've been talking about that here at Believer's Church for some time. We're in a season. We're in a season of the prodigal. Sons and daughters, they're coming back. They're coming back. God's whistling for them. He'll he they'll hear the whistle. One translation says he'll hiss for them. But he's whistling for them. He's whistling for them. God is whistling for them. Now, if you believe that, I want you to shout to the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Woo! Glory, 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 glory. <laughs> Go ahead and sing that. You did it once and you do it again. You do it once and you'll do it again. You do it again. You did it once and you'll do it again. Yeah. Do it again. You'll do it again. What? And you'll do it again. Come on. You did it once. You did it once. You did it again. One more time. Sing it one more time. You did it once and you'll do it again. You did it once and you do it again. You did it once and you'll do it again. Do it again. You do it again. And everybody say amen. As far as I'm concerned, it's done. You may be seated. Hallelujah. tell you what that was one I tell you what the devil didn't see that coming <laughs> he didn't see that one coming I'm telling you right now oh yeah all hell's going oh my god it's out of control now <laughs> all right now once we get you seated we'll probably bring you back up but anyway that's okay we're going to do a little of that tonight Everybody, now stay focused because I don't want the anointing to lift. It's starting to lift. Come on, let's, let's get back in the spirit here. See, we make mistakes by not being focused. And everybody stick your hands up and just begin to praise him just for a second. We're all participating. We've got to learn how to do this. See, participate. We're catching the wind. We're catching the wind. We're catching the wind. Say what God says. Only say what God says. Move on to the next thing. Hallelujah. Oh, here's one. You ready for this? No, I, I don't even know. You probably get a better tune than I could. It's a very simple thing. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs tonight. Can you do that? Play whatever you guys want to. 
Everybody sing it. God's going to heal backs. I don't care what's wrong with your back. God knows. There you go. Sing it with them. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs tonight. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs tonight. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs tonight. Keep singing that. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs tonight. Thank you, Lord, yeah, for healing backs tonight. How you doing, brother? Thank you, Lord, for healing backs tonight. Now, see, I recognize healing ministries. And this brother has a healing ministry, especially for backs. And when he walked in the room, I said, okay, I don't have to do that myself. We can have him help me with it. All right, so if you've got a bad back of any kind, I want you to stand up and come up here. Now, let's do this quickly. We don't have to take a long time. I know that this is a general thing, but everybody in the body, half the people in the body of Christ got bad backs. So we want them to be healed. Some of you have suffered bad backs for years. Years and years and years. Nerve damage. Arthritis. Now listen. Vertebrae are out of whack. Amen? Uh, sometimes it's an injury. Sometimes it's just whatever. But tonight, let's all sing it. Tonight, thank you, Lord, for healing backs tonight. Start on that end. I'm start on this end. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs tonight. I'm just going to go like this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. There it is. Thank you, Lord, for healing. Be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Set her down easy. Thank you, Lord, for healing back. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs. Here it is. Take it. There it is. Straighten out in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Both of you, get it. In Jesus' name. Take it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes. All right. Glenn. Come on, everybody sing it, please. Come on. Thank you, Lord, for healing Baxter. Thank you for healing Baxter. In Jesus' name. For healing Baxter tonight. Oh. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Keep singing it now. Come on. We're all participating here. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs tonight. Thank you, Lord, 
for healing backs tonight. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Woo! He did it. 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 Come on, give him praise tonight. Give him praise tonight. Give him praise tonight. Give him praise tonight. La mama. Sister Karen, come on, stand up with me for a second. Hallelujah. You guys still do it for wanting backs? Glenn really has that. Let, let Glenn do it. Anointing's all over Glenn right now. Go ahead, Glenn. For healing backs tonight. There you go. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs tonight. Everybody sing. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs tonight. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs tonight. Thank you, Lord. Come on. For healing backs tonight. Thank you, Lord, for healing backs tonight. Tammy, Tammy, be healed in Jesus' name in your back right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Just take it. Take it. Glory to God. All right. Everybody praise the Lord now. Are you believers or doubters? Tell you what, let's do for a minute. Let's all pray in tongues for a minute again. Come on. Thank you, Brother Glenn. Appreciate you, man. Glory to God forevermore. Everybody say th thank you, Brother Glenn, for helping out. Amen. Now, we're going to do this again. I want you all to look at me and stop talking because that's what kills the anointing. Come on, everybody look at me. We got to learn how to reverence God. Are you ready for this? Thank you, Lord, for healing hearts tonight. Go ahead. Go on. Everybody sing it now. That's right. Thank you, Lord, for healing hearts tonight. Let's all sing it together. Thank you, Lord, for healing hearts tonight. That's beautiful. Thank you, Lord. For healing hearts tonight. Thank you, Lord, for healing hearts. Come on and sing it. Thank you, Lord, for healing hearts tonight. Thank you, Lord, for healing hearts tonight. That's right. Thank you, Lord. For healing hearts tonight. Okay, guys, now listen. You got something with your, your heart. I know that we had a sister here the other night we prayed for her, but there's people in here that have heart issues. Now, this even could be a spiritual thing, but I'm, I'm and, and, and by the way, you guys that are watching by Facebook Live, you just take it too, man. There's going to be thousands of people that will watch this. Now, listen, you got fluttering in your heart you got what do they call that the palpitations and 
salutations and <laughs> bad, bad valves, your heart doesn't work right, your circulation don't work right, and it's a problem with your heart, I want you all to raise your hand if that's you. Now, that's a general thing, but let me tell you, jump up and come down here because Sister Karen has an anointing for hearts, and God can even give you a new heart. He can pump a new heart right into you tonight. Let not your hearts be troubled. We're going to sing that again. Let's go ahead and sing it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for healing hearts. Everybody sing it now. Come on. Thank you, Lord, for healing hearts tonight. Thank you, Lord, for healing hearts tonight. I don't need to be Okay. Thank you, Lord, for healing hearts tonight. 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 Your high blood pressure problem is going, to, is going to go down right now in the name of Jesus. Let's thank God for that. Amen. High blood pressure. Thank you. Sing it. Thank you, Lord, for healing hearts tonight. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Now, well, we pray for everybody online for everything that's here tonight. Backs, prodigals, hearts. Be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Sister Karen. Okay.
Now, uh, how many here really believe God did something there? I do. I'm convinced, totally convinced, about half of you. How many believe that God did? If you believe that you got something from God, you ought to be thanking him. We're not thankful enough. I'm telling you right now, we're not. We're, we're not a bunch of charismatics who just, oh, we're going to have another service. I'm, this is serious business. Somebody got a new heart tonight. Come on. People got healed in their backs. They've been in pain for years. That's a big deal. That's serious business. Prodigals are coming home tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody pray in the spirit for a minute. Lord, we want to catch the next wind. Oh, Lord, you ready for this? You ready? Okay, go ahead. Everybody sing with me tonight. Go. Was a sad captive free. Come on, everybody sing it. Lord, tonight, will you set the captives free? Sing it like you mean it tonight. Lord, tonight, we set the captives free. Sing it. Lord, tonight, we set the captives free. Yeah! Lord, tonight, we set the captives free. In Jesus' name. Lord, tonight, we set the captives free. Yes, yes. Lord, tonight, we set the captives free. Come on, sing it. Lord, tonight, we set the captives Sing it. Come on, everybody. Lord, tonight, we set the captives They're free tonight. Lord, tonight, we set the cap. Set them free, set them free, Lord. We set the cap. Set them free, Lord. Lord. Set them free. Set them free tonight. Set them free. 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 Set them free, set them free, set them free, set them free, set them free. All right. How many got? How many believe God's speaking to us tonight? I don't know a whole lot. Uh, I don't know a whole lot, but I do know God's voice. And I can tell you, captives are going to be set free here tonight. Now, what are you talking about, Pastor Tom? Just one second, let me, let me talk to him. What are you talking about tonight? Well, you know, now to answer a call like this, you've got to have some humility about you, right? But I tell you what, man. If you've been raped in the past and you got trauma... You were raised in a bad home where you got beat up and traumatized. If you get tormented at night with bad dreams, if your mind doesn't work right, if you think you're being tormented by demons, if you're hooked on some kind of drug or habit and, you know, you're just tired and you want to get rid of it, I mean, we could go down a long list of things that hold people into captivity. But uh, tonight, tonight... He's going to set the captives free. Because uh, the, the gift of special faith is going to work here tonight. That means that the demon's getting real nervous right now. <laughs> and uh, what's really interesting is the way God works with me. Because Sarah's here tonight. And God 
is going to use Sarah mightily in the future in the gift of special faith. Hope I didn't scare her too much. She didn't say much about it. But Sarah's going to come with me in the prayer line here. And we're going to see how God uses Sarah. Everybody say amen. Put the microphone down, Sarah. Your singing time's over with right this moment. And if you need deliverance of any kind tonight, stand up. I know it's hard to do that sometimes in front of us, but we're all family here, right? Come on down here and stand right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't hesitate. Yeah, this is part of the problem. You've you got to be hungry for this, man. You've got to be hungry for this. Are you ready for this, Sarah? Okay. Come down with me. Everybody right across here. Come over here with me. Let them all come down here first. Okay. Yeah. All right. Stand right over here. Just like this. Right? No, turn around. Turn, turn. Like that. Okay, just right there. Come on, everybody. Down. Wow, look at all these people. Now, let me ask you a question. How many believe God will set you free? However, when it comes to something like this, if you're watching porno, you got to get rid of that stuff. Or it won't work. If you're... You know, whatever it is, the pills, the dope, uh, and it, we are in a, we are in California, so the you know all that marijuana they give you for free or whatever it is out here. I'm serious about this now. You got to want to get it, and that means that you might have to make some changes, and you're going to have to keep your flesh under control, or it won't work. The devil will get back at you. Now, Terry's going to help me tonight. Where's my helpers? When I move down, come over here with me. Come on, guys. See, because that anointing is going to come on here now. Hey, let Sarah soak that up for a minute. And then, then when, I, when I tell you, I want you, to, I want you to scrape her up off the ground. But give her a minute. Because Sarah is now, has this gift of special faith. She'll be able to believe God for finances real easy now. But sometimes when she's singing, see, demons are going to go, I'm out of here. I mean, it's going to be an amazing thing. She'll begin to call things out by faith. And wonderful things will happen. Don't you love young people? I think I'm going to claim Sarah for our church. No, I'm just kidding. Can't, you can't do that, but I'd like to. All right, I think she's, she's saturated enough in it, so pick her up, scrape her up off the ground. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> okay. Now all you're going to have to do is just lay hands on them, all right? And sometimes like I like to do is, is I'll just go like that, blow on them, see? Whoa. Okay. So you, you go down this way. I'm going on the other side. Help Sarah, and I'll, and I'll go down here. Are you guys ready? In Jesus' name. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it. Hold it, everybody. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. I see a wave of glory coming. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. It's a wave of deliverance right now. It's coming in here right now. Put your hands up. Everybody put your hands up. It's getting close. It's going to hit you guys. In Jesus' name. All right, just take it now. Come on, Sarah. Let's pray for him. Here it is. It's here. It's going into your feet right now. In Jesus' name. 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 Come out! In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. There it is. There it is. Whoa. In Jesus' name. Looser. Looser. In the name. In the name. In the, no, no, you won't resist me in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I said, loose him. In Jesus' name, loose him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, Sarah. Hit this one over here. Get that one. Get that one right there. Do we have more? 
after they're done, sc scrape them up off the ground and get the other ones up here. Where'd Sarah go? Oh, there she is. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on, Sarah. Got to work this line here. Over here. Everybody say, go, Sarah. Come on. There you go. Just blow on her. There you go. See, that's anointing. That same anointing on me. Come on you, Sarah. That's a scary thing. Look out. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I don't even have to do anything. Looser. Whoa. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. That's it. Come on. <laughs> Beautiful. I like this. This is fun. I don't have to work. Glory to God. You're being touched right now. You're being touched. You're being healed physically and mentally right now. I mean, tonight's your night, sister. Tonight is your night. You'll never forget this night. Tonight is your night. And the devil is defeated in Jesus' name. Those are hers. Thank you, sir. Good, 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 good. Come on, everybody. Let's sing that. Can you sing that again? Thank you, Lord. Deliverance has come tonight. Come on. Everybody sing, please. Lord, tonight, you set the cap. They're set free tonight. Come on, everybody, sing it. Lord, tonight, the captain. Hallelujah. Come on. Lord, tonight. You set the captives free. Woo! Lord, tonight, set the captives Thank you, Sarah. Lord, tonight, you set the captives free. Come on, come on. Lord, tonight, free. Sing it one more time. Lord, tonight. Set the cap. Beautiful prayer, yes. Lord, tonight, would you set the captives free? Lord, tonight, would you set the cap? Isn't this beautiful tonight? Lord, tonight, you set the captives free. Lord, tonight. Set the captives free. Lord, tonight. Woo! Set the captives. Yeah! Come on! Lord, tonight. Yeah. You're totally free. 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 Run, run around the building, run, run. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Oh, yeah. Woo. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> yeah, come on. I got the power of the Lord. Yeah. Oh, 
How beautiful. One more time. One more time. Now listen. How many want to catch another wave? Now listen. Let's all pray in the spirit for a minute. Oh, sombro kushiba. Leme kushim brakasa. So good. Oh, you know what I think? I think what we need right now, I'll tell you what I think what we need right now. You know, they used to say when we were traveling around during the 90s, you know, Pastor Tom got that new wine in his mantle. But then they'd say to Stella, she got Jack Daniels. I think that some of you need a little joy in your life. I said, I think some of you need a little bit more joy in your life. Because Stella is going to come up here. And let me tell you something about this now. Stella was surfing this afternoon. I saw her. Now, you know, my wife, she's 60 years old. Now, listen. You shouldn't look it, but she's my age. I won't tell you exactly what that is. But it's north of 60. Now, we both exercise a couple hours, uh, except for Sundays, pretty much all the time. But my exercise is different. My wife is wild. She does tie bow and, you know, and, I, you know, I, this is my exercise. I walk. They call me the breeze, baby. I just rolling along, you know, but not Stella. Oh, no. She wanted, she got a tie bow. She's got a jump. The other day she went roller skating with a church. Now, I said, I love you, but I ain't going to that. Because I know what's going to happen if I try to roller skate. I might roll for a little bit, but then that's all. It's going to be rolling. I'm going to hit the deck. And I don't need that at this particular time in my life, especially when I have a meeting coming up like this. But Stella, she was in that thing, and they videoed her. And I'm here to tell you, man. She was disco dancing on roller skates all over the place. I said, I can't believe she can do that. <laughs> Jumping up and down, turning around, woo, staying alive, you know, the whole thing. <laughs> I watched that and I go, oh, man. <laughs> Come on, honey. Come on, let's all sing that. We need some joy tonight a little bit anymore. Some of you, some of you just, just need some joy. Now, what happens when the joy of the Lord comes? A merry heart doeth what? That's right. There's all kinds of healings. There's all kinds of different healings. Yeah, let's get go. <laughs> joy, joy, joy. Who wants the joy? Come up. Come on, come on. Got the joy, 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 yeah. Got the joy, joy, joy. Move around, joy, joy, joy. Joy, joy, joy. Got the joy, joy, joy. Thank you. 
Give him some joy, Lord. Give him some joy. Yeah. Joy, 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 joy. Come on. Come on, Mama Pat. <laughs> You're moving pretty good, man. Come on there. Got some joy. 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 Woo! Give the Lord a shout tonight. Shout tonight. Give him a shout. Oh. Anymore. I can't laugh any. Come on. Look out over there. Oh, they're biting the dust over there. Anybody got any joy? Got the joy, got the joy, got the joy, got the joy. Woo! I got the joy, got the joy, got the joy, got the joy. Got the joy, they got the joy. Woo! 
I got the joy, I got the joy, I got the joy. Joy, I got the joy. Got the joy. Yeah, I got the joy. Joy. Got the joy. I got the joy. 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 Boy, I got you. One more time. Got the joy, I got the joy. Yeah, I got the joy, I got the joy. Oh, no. Everybody put your hands up right where you're at. Begin to praise him. Come on, everybody. Praise him. Worship him. Yeah. Hey. Somebody's ulcers just got healed in Jesus' name. Ulcers are being healed right now in the name of Jesus. A merry heart doeth good like medicine. All right, get ready here. If we ever get to it. Drop. <laughs> Drunk, drunk, drunk in the Holy Ghost. Drunk, drunk, drunk in the Holy Ghost. Drunk, drunk in the Holy Ghost. Drunk, 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 drunk in the Holy Ghost. Fill me up. All right. Can you guys all hear me? Is this thing working? Now we're going to catch a little bit of another wave right now. The Lord said to me, you know, a Thursday when I was praying this thing out. It's kind of interesting when you've already been in a service and then you get in the service. But I'll tell you something. He said to me, now Mike Purcell will have three specific words of knowledge. Now, he may have more than that. I'm not limiting God, but that's what he said to me. Three specific, very important, now listen, very important words of knowledge. Mike flows in words of knowledge. So, Mike, I'm going to give this to you by faith. I'm not putting him on the spot too much. Hallelujah. Uh, no, I don't think so. No music. No music. Praise God. Well, okay. So, um, earlier, the respiratory deal that came, who was that? Stand up. Someone online. But uh, who else, though, with lung problems? Stand up. Stand up. Okay, that's one. That was earlier. Okay, <clears throat> somebody, your big toe, a big toe, problems with a big toe, either doesn't bend all the way or something like that. Who is that? You, sir? More than one? You too? Oh, my mom. Interesting. Never noticed. Thank Thank you, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. She cut it a bit sick. He till a bossa come on over a bit sick. It a bit she cut it a bossa. Canal, canal. I heard canal. Like you live by a canal, you live close to a canal. Something weird with a canal. Holly, what does that mean to you? You live right by a canal? Stand up. What, what does that mean to you? Huh? Canal by your house. 
Okay, so everybody, come on up here that stood up. Come on up here. That means something to you too. Okay, who just had a root canal done? Huh? You just had one? You're going to have one. Come on up here. I heard canal, but then I heard root after that as I started talking about that. But that still applies to everybody who lives by a canal. Just come on up here. Okay, yeah. Ear canal. It's from what problems with her ear. Man, this is going to be wild, man. Praise God. See, now that third one I had to, I had to pray for. I had to pray for that one. I, I'd only, I heard those two earlier, but that one I, had, I heard canal. Well, you so might get some more, too. We're not limiting you. Praise God. That. Hallelujah. I saw three that you would have. All right, just lift your hands right now in Jesus' name. See, the whole thing about words of knowledge is I usually, there's a lot of times I don't even know why God says that word. And sometimes he'll reveal to me why he's singling a person out specifically for something. But not every time does he do that. Now, if I have something to say over you as I, as I lay my hands on you, I will and I'll move on. If I don't, I'll just release whatever God wants to do because it's God. It ain't me anyways. Amen. It's God doing the work. Amen. So I'm just going to lay hands on you right now. In the name of Jesus, right now, Father, Apostle Joyce, have what you need in Jesus' name right now. In Jesus' name. Now, I believe as I lay hands on some of you, God is going to speak to your spirit and drop a word on the inside of you for something you need right now or in the future. In Jesus' name, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, it's the Holy Ghost, it's the Holy Ghost, it's the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Just take it, just take it. Holy Ghost, it just receive right now in Jesus' name. It's the Holy Ghost, Gwendolyn. In Jesus' name, receive. It's the Holy Ghost. Power, 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 power. Thank you, Lord. Power. Thank you, Lord. Power. 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 Sir, the Lord will direct your path and make your way straight. Favor. I proclaim <laughs> favor. I release favor. Favor on my brother right now to do what he needs to do. To go where he needs to go. To flow where he needs to flow in Jesus' name. In Jesus, whoops, I'm sorry, Mom. In Jesus' name, right now, I release it. Release Holy Ghost. Look to the Holy Ghost. Look to him. Look to him. Be healed in Jesus' name from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed in Jesus' name from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed in Jesus' name from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed in Jesus' name. Asthma's on the ground, I heard earlier. Just like you're getting ready to go on the ground. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name, Glenn. Power to get wealth. Jesus' name. Be healed, Mike, right now. Whatever you need. That truck's coming, by the way, in the name of Jesus. I didn't forget about that word. In Jesus' name, ma'am, be whole now. In Jesus' name. Satan, take your hands off what you've been holding back in her life. I command in the name of Jesus for finances to be released. Whatever that is being held up. Is there something being held up like in liquidation or some kind of, some kind of uh, uh, like a inheritance or something like that that you know of or yeah, anything? Yeah, that's the Panama Canal. You don't know? Okay, he had a Panama we got, Canal. We got one in the yeah. Panama Canal. I should have. Well, Father, in that. Jesus' name, I just see that right there. There's something being held by the devil that belongs to you. I don't know if it's in here. I, I don't know what it is. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying if something's being held by the enemy, I break the power in Jesus' name. Now, you agree with that right now and just receive in Jesus' name whatever it is. Holy Spirit, thank you for it right now in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Right now, Vicky, receive whatever it is you need. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Yes, in Jesus' name. I love the Holy Ghost. Do the work. Do the work. Do the work. Holy Ghost. Do the work. Holy Ghost. Do the work. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. 
I command your tooth to be healed, Izzy, right now in Jesus' name. God, give her a gold filling. Give her a gold tooth. Give her, God, give her a creative dental miracle right now in Jesus' name. I believe you can do it. I know you can do it. You're the God of heaven and earth. And I release healing right now in Izzy's mouth in Jesus' name. And I command that tooth to be whole Hallelujah. in Jesus' name. In Jesus' Thank name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you for the anointing. Thank, Thank you, Lord. you for the anointing. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. What did you come up here for, Cheryl? Your ear, in Jesus' name, right now, be healed. Be healed in Jesus' name. Command oh. her ear to open and be whole from this night on in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Hey, Cheryl, what would you come up here for? Your ear. Your right ear or left ear. In Jesus' name. Be healed now. All right. Command it to open and be whole. Does your ear buzz? Is that what it is or what is it? It hurts. Yeah, there's an infection there. Let's yeah. In Jesus, name. come out now. Infection, go in from her ear, ear right out. now in, in the, the name of canal. Jesus. Healing right now by your stripes. Healing in Cheryl's ear now in the name of Jesus. I command pain to go now in Jesus' name. How does it feel? Was it hurt when you came up here? No, it wasn't hurt when you came up here. Good. It won't hurt again in the name of You've Jesus. You've already got it probably when she... It's gone in Jesus' her. name. Brianna, what'd you come up here for? Your toe. Ah. Shh. Command your toe to be healed in Jesus' name. Command pain to go. Command healing to flow. And I thank you for it right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now, uh... Um, in Jesus' name. As Mike is finishing up, I really Jesus am impressed. Name. Thank you, Father, for that right uh, now, Lord. This, this hurts. So it really hurts. Because I'm starting to pick up on it. Really bad migraine headaches. It, it hurts bad. Thank you, now, Holy Now, maybe somebody Spirit. out there, but it might be somebody who has a real bad case of migraine headaches. Thank you, Lord. Just bad, 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 bad. It hurts real bad. <laughs> there may be several of you. God is so good. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, migraine. Thank you, Lord. God's going to release you. Migraines. Uh, vertigo. Vertigo. Vertigo's got to go. Anybody suffer from vertigo? It might be the same related to the migraine headaches. Quickly, everybody move quick. Vertigo. Rich. Well, I, I, I've had that. It's a terrible thing. I hate vertigo. Come, come together. Stand, stand together over here. Come together. Oh, lighten up! Some of you guys are, some of you guys are so religious. Sometimes I can't. You ready? <laughs> Be healed. <laughs> Stand her back up. Don't, don't be scared of this, okay? Come out of her. You're not demon possessed, but I saw that in your head. There you go. Take it. You ready to receive that? Oh, yeah, I can feel that sometimes. In Jesus' name, pain, go from him. Oh, wicked devil. In Jesus' name, let him go now. In Jesus' name. Wicked, stinking devil, come out of him. In the name of Jesus. 
Mama Pat, can you reach over here and just put your hand on his head? Pray in tongues for a while. I don't have time to mess right now. I've got to keep going here. Ready, receive. There it is. Take it. Oh, yeah. Uh, pain. Uh, in Jesus' name. No more in Jesus. In Jesus. In, in, the, in, in the name. For your daughter. You're an anointing hog, aren't you? Should we? Loose him. Loose him in Jesus' name. Come on, everybody pray. Loose him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Loose him in Jesus' name. Papa Kishipapola Masipa. Loose him in Jesus' name. Let's all thank God for that. Hallelujah. Come on. Everybody, come on. Praise God. Praise God. Begin to praise God. Come on, everybody. Pastor John. Everybody stretch forth your hands toward apostle here. You know, you've operated in gifts of the Spirit. I know that. But word of knowledge especially is going to, like, increase... We, you know, the Bible says we, incre we, prof um, we see dar uh, darkly. See through a glass darkly, right? That's what I'm seeing. All of a sudden, then's face to face. That darkness, it, not that she has anything wrong with her. It's a certain level. But it's going to clear. Boy, it's going to be clear. I want you to pray for her, Pastor John. Thank you, Father. Stretch your hands out toward Apostle Joyce. Lord, we thank you that she has eyes to see. She has ears to hear. Her heart, he's giving me a word for you. Your heart, he's seen your heart, the desires in your heart, the love that you have for him and the desire to see people free. The compassion that's in you, the great compassion of God. And so he is going to elevate you. You're going to hear things you haven't heard before. You're going to know things you haven't known before. You're going to see things you haven't seen before. Because God's going to give you clarity to do more and more and more. Your heart is in what he's called you to do. And so he's going to give you the ability to bring many into a mighty breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Thank you for eyes to see, Lord. Thank you. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eyes to see. 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 In Jesus' name. You know, I'm glad she came tonight. Are you glad she came tonight? Now listen. I know my business here. Yeah, man, God not near got done with her. I'm telling you what, your latter days are going to be much stronger than the earlier days. You know, I see a whole line of spiritual children behind her. A big line of spiritual children that are going to come to her for wisdom and guidance. It's going to be divine hookups, man. Woo, glory to God forevermore. How many of you know we need spiritual parents, we need spiritual moms and dads? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, that's it. Whoop. Whoo, that's it. Just let her down there. Let her rest for a minute. All right. Isn't that wonderful? Give the Lord praise for that. Thank you, Pastor John. Glory, 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 glory. Whoo. Now. 
I don't know about you. <laughs> I don't know about all you guys, but I had a good time tonight. Did you have a good time tonight? Got something? Come on up. Pastor Bob's got something. But I think I might be done, but I might not be done. <laughs> but I think I want to say good night to you, and I tell you this. Some of your lives have been changed tonight. <laughs> Some of you don't even know it yet. And I'm telling you right now, this was one awesome service tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I am so, so thankful to have been here this last few days. You know, I was here today in the service, and the Spirit of God is moving so powerfully in this place. And uh, tonight, and all of these services, and Brother Marsh shared, and all of these, all of these, uh, tr and, and, I, and just the Spirit of God is just, I began to weep. And, and I'm not really prone to that, but the Spirit of God coming on me, God is changing us. He's lifting us. He's transforming us. This is a critical hour that we're living in. You know what crisis means? A turning point. This is a turning point, praise God. Crisis. Hallelujah. God's turning everything in our hearts and our lives. And you know, for about uh, all of last year, I, I was inspired to minister on the gifts of the Holy Ghost. And you know, the Lord began to impress upon my heart that if he deemed it essential to give gifts to the church, then it's much more significant and much more important than most people realize that we appropriate what God is giving us and implement and begin to flow and go in those gifts. You understand what I'm saying tonight? It's critical. I said it's critical. And it's not a one-man show. He gave gifts unto men. He gave all of us. We're all great. We're, all of us are members in the body of Christ. None of us can say, as someone said, none of us can say, I don't need you. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a super duper whooper whopper. I don't need you. None of us can say that. I'm going to tell you something. When we really understand that, and rightfully understand stand that we begin to function, we begin to flow, we begin to move as a body, praise God, and that grace flowing through your life. You know, some folks say, oh, I don't need to go to church. You know, I, I just watch the TV, watch the evangelist on TV. I'm going to tell you something. You don't understand the body of Christ. We need each other. And we need to flow and go in each other. And, you know, I, I asked Tom for the microphone here, not because I wanted to take over, but the Lord, I was sitting back there, and the Lord said, I want the people here tonight to embrace my gifts and to begin to implement and step out, praise God. Step out. Launch out. Let God flow through you. So critical. Can we, can we take a few moments to do this? How about a few hours? <laughs> How many of you would like to really begin to tap into and let God flow through your life? You know, I, when I first came to the Lord, I was so hungry. I still am, but I was so hungry and so thirsty. And be, I spend hours and hours every day praying in the Spirit and listening to tapes and driving in my car and praying in the Holy Ghost. And after about two years, it began to just kind of wane a little bit. And it troubled me. And I went to a friend of mine who was a pastor. I said, you know, I'm really concerned about this. He said, you know, the same thing happened to me. And the Lord told me, this is him talking to me, he said, the Lord told me if you don't start putting out what I'm putting in, you're going to wither up. You're going to dry up. And it was like a spark hit me. And I knew that I knew that I knew. You see, we are created by God to flow and to move in the body. How many of you believe that tonight? Hallelujah. How many of you would like to just begin to see the gifts of the Spirit activated in you? Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you something. It's, it's all of us. I remember a song used to, none, none, none of us have it all together. But all of us together have it all. All of us together have it all. The gifts of the Holy Ghost. You see him manifesting in this place tonight, these gifts up here, gifts of the Spirit. But I'm going to tell you something. God didn't leave you out. And you're important. I said you're important. The ministry that God has embraced and wants you to flow in, in this church and in everywhere we go, it's not just in the local, it's out here in the highways and byways, but it's important. 
that we begin to just let God flow through us. I've sat over coffee with someone, and I can just feel the, prophet, the spirit of prophecy flowing through me. People say, you don't, you don't realize you're speaking to me. God's speaking to me. It's not just in the church. It's everywhere. And if this is all right, I'd like every one of you to come on up here really quick and stand up here. We're gonna, well, there's going to be a release in the gifts of the Spirit tonight. There's going to be a, a release in the gifts of the Spirit and an activation in the gifts of the Spirit. Glory to God. Come on, saints. It's important. Jump up from your seat. Get, come on up here. Don't let this moment pass you by tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Before you pray, I just wanted to share this with everybody. On the web tonight, we had, a, uh, we had three vertigo healing, uh, uh, ear healing, and what else, honey? Lungs. Uh, over the internet. And by the way, hardly anybody's watched that yet. It'll go all over the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I tried to commit suicide four different times, overdosing on drugs. and I died, came back to life again. They brought my clothes out in a bag, brown paper sack, handed to my mom, said, I'm sorry, Dad. And you know, one of the things that I have come to understand is that God has a purpose for my life. And he has a purpose for your life. Did you hear me? He has a purpose for your life. And he wants you to flow in that purpose. And part of it is in our interconnection and his work in our lives. Isn't that true, Michael? Hallelujah. So I'd like, if this, if this is fine with you and it seems right with you, I'd like all of these various ministry gifts to come on up here. Okay, come on. That's what I meant. Come on. Where's Tony and Mary? Come on up here. Pardon? Apostle Joyce, come on up here. I want these giftings of the Spirit. Michael, come up here. Where's Karen? Is she still here? Did she get raptured? Oh, she... <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you something. We don't, we don't, it's, it's the Lord who gives gifts to men. God sets every member in the body as it pleases him. Isn't that right? But I believe that there's going to be a release tonight, a release and a, and a, a comprehension and apprehension, but it's going to be up to you. And one of the things I learned about this, the, the Lord flowing in, in me, I began to sense it at times, and sometimes I you know, began, but I realized something, unless you step into it and let it flow through you, there's nothing that happens. Hallelujah. I'd like us to pray together. Come on, just lift everybody in this place. I'd like you to pray this with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you. You have called me out of darkness into your marvelous light. Father, I thank you that you have set me in the body of Christ as it pleases you. You've ordained me, you've appointed me, and you have anointed me. I am special. I am important. And your giftings and your graces operating in me are crucial. Father, in the name of Jesus, I set myself tonight to receive, to be activated, animated, stimulated in your spirit. And Father, I will be an operative member in the body of Christ. Because the body makes increase of itself according to the effectual working. The effectual working. The effectual working in the measure of every part. I am a part. I am a significant part. And I will flow and go. Operate in that which you have called me to. Father, tonight, I receive revelation, inspiration, impartation, and activation of your gifts. 
and his hands are laid upon me tonight, everything is coming up higher. Everything is coming up higher. Everything is coming up higher. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come on, you. Let's, let's begin to lay hands on, on the folks. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you. of Jesus, let an impartation of everything you have for these people tonight come upon them. In Jesus' name, receive now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Pili ma kasam brakeshi. Poro kushim braka. Hasunguruku. Come on. Hukandale me. Mendireba soke. Sakurote Yarabas. Oh, Rabaki Stibra. Brian. Sotata. Penderebe Keshibra. Honda Brakata. Benduriabato. Asumbre. Barokuya. Macarusia. Macarusia. Macaru. Marigre. Gisibra. Okay. Pembro Kushi, up on the ice. Hallelujah. Showers of mercy and grace. Glory to God. Will you take some of it?
Hallelujah. Just want to, you guys just continue to do whatever it is you're doing. But I just want to say something tonight. You know, when I got up here earlier and sang that word of knowledge, I had no idea that we were going to sing tonight as a congregation. But it was a witness to me. Psalm, let me open my Bible here. Psalm uh, 32 7 says that God will compass us with songs of deliverance. It says over here in Ephesians chapter 5, now listen to this. It says that we're to redeem the time. We're to redeem the time. We're to buy back the time. We're to seize the time we're in right now for God's purposes. We're told in the scripture to redeem the time because the days are evil. If you just go with the flow of the world, Nothing's going to happen but evil. Amen? He says, redeem the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding the will, what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. The Lord had Pastor Tom, the Holy Spirit had Pastor Tom lead us in ganging up on the devil tonight. We came into one accord and we begin to sing. The Lord began to sing through us as we yielded to the Holy Ghost. He began to compass us with songs of deliverance. That wasn't weird. That was, I've, now, I've never been in a service where we did this the way we did it tonight. But it's scriptural. 
God doesn't get that upset about the devil. He just starts singing over your life his will. He just starts rejoicing. And as we sang tonight, the delivering power of God began to come in waves and minister to people. This weekend was a major shift and change. There's some of you, stuff that's been dogging your steps, harassing your family, your, your family lineage, and a bunch of nonsense like that, that was pushed back and pushed aside. You were delivered from it. You stepped into a new day because God has prepared his people to go forward over what's going to happen over these next three years. You're going to see God start some things this year, but in the next three years, there's going to be a major thrust to go forward, and you and I have to be free. We have to be free to be able to go forward. And so tonight, this was a deliverance service. This was a healing service. Amen? And I'm telling you, when the enemy comes back and starts telling you it wasn't, you just start singing. You just start agreeing with heaven. Amen. You just start singing what heaven has sung here tonight. Or whatever the Holy Ghost gives you to sing. He gave me a song about asthma being defeated. I couldn't sing it again right now if I wanted to. I don't even remember what it was. But this is the way God does things. Amen. Heaven's full of music. I've read books by people who have died, been dead for hours sometimes, come back. They all say the same thing. You can constantly hear worship and praise and singing in heaven because he inhabits our praises. So, Lord, we thank you tonight. We thank you for what you did. Holy Spirit, thank you for Pastor Tom and Stella and for the obedience. They're not afraid to step out of the religious box. They're not afraid to be free and to enjoy you, to set people free in the process. We thank you, Lord, for what you've done this weekend. For all of our speakers, all that came, all that came, Father, and, and were a part of what was happening here, and Father, that gave in the offering and just participated in this. There was things happened in these meetings that you and I will only understand as time moves along. If you had a change, maybe you pain left your body or, you know, depression left you, whatever, something changed in you, I want you to raise your hand right now and wave it at me. Wave it at me. Look at that. Look at, look at how many people were affected. Praise God. Destiny, come here for a second, would you, hon? Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Destiny. Yeah. Destiny was uh, born with some physical problems because she had a missing chromosome. And one of the things that happened was this hand was not very viable, and she's actually had to have surgery on it several years back. But her fingers were not, not able to open up well, and she wasn't able to use her hand well. Tonight... <laughs> Glory to God. God named her destiny because she's got a destiny in God. Glory to God. God filled her with the Holy Ghost here a couple of months ago, and he's healing her body. And she's going to be a testimony. A testimony. Amen? You want to say anything? <laughs> okay. Well, let's stand. Hallelujah. Leave if you can. If you can't, hug somebody or we'll do whatever. Just God bless you. Thanks for coming. Have a, have a great week. Amen.